Happy New Year. It's 2018 and I wanted to get myself back on track with planning. For whatever reason, 2017 just threw me off and I didn't do as much planning as I wanted to. And I'm a planner kind of girl, so I have a goal for myself to make sure that I plan this year. It's just fun for me. It's relaxing. It calms me down. I have a great time doing it. Plus, I'm putting things down and whenever you put tasks down, you are more likely to get them done if you see something there, especially if you like make it pretty too. And that's like the whole purpose of making a planner pretty so that you can look at it and look at your tasks and get them done. So anyway, I have to tell you guys that this was hard for me to kind of come back. This isn't usually like my style of planning and I am going to get into my normal style that you guys are used to, but I still want to try a lot of things out. And you guys know I raved about the Sassy Club. She's amazing. And so I was inspired by her and she made me want to plan again. And I'm just so thankful for that because planning, again, gives me so much joy. So I do end up messing up here and there and you will see that um, I just kind of like removed some things. And I know I started this video off with some things already on the planner, but I thought I was filming and I guess I wasn't. So that's how rusty I've been with planning or filming planner videos. So I'm just, I'm playing around with some stamping because I have a lot of stamping stuff. And again, the Sassy Club, she's all into stamps and I wanted to be like her. And I learned really soon that <laughs> I'm not good at it, and but I will be and that my ink smeared a lot, so I have a lot to learn. So you're gonna see that I quickly scrapped this whole thing because the goals that I was trying to write out just wasn't centered and I wasn't having it. Like, I was not having it, so. And it's hard, especially if you don't use a stamp like this one, whereas it was different than the one you just saw before because with the wood stamps, you can't see the actual stamp, whereas with the acrylic stamp block that you can. So I scrapped it and started all over and I'm just kind of putting this piece of scrapbook paper in the corner of the month and putting a banner. And this sticker sheet came from Dollar Tree. It's so beautiful. And I used it as my inspiration because you guys, it's just taking me a while to come back and I'm just trying to start off, you know, slow. But I have to say, it was really hard for me to transition back into this. And just from a creativity standpoint, obviously it's easy to put down things that I need to get done and things that I need to do and things that, you know, future things. So that part is easy. Just the creativity was kind of like, didn't come to me as fast as it normally does. But I have to say, I'm really sorry about the quality of this video. I'm just noticing it now. I've noticed that on my iPhone lately because I did film with my iPhone, but I think it has something to do with I cracked my screen and I had Amazon services come fix it and when the cameras flipped one way it's just this foggy quality so I really don't know anyways this stamping thing right here that I'm doing with the cute little cameras is from the sassy club Sandra this is a technique that she uses and I thought it was so so cute and I wanted to do it too although I learned that my ink just doesn't dry, um, especially not as fast as I would think that ink should dry. I mean, it was literally like 10 minutes later and I was still smearing ink all over the place. So I'm gonna need someone to tell me what's up with ink or if I'm just using the wrong kind of ink, but that's what I noticed was that I just messed up this entire page, but listen, I went with it. Also, the one thing that I learned about my planner after watching the Sassy Club, sorry, that's an app on my phone, I learned that I always use the same penmanship. And if you watch Sandra, I know I'm obsessing about her. It's, it's, it's too much, but she has the most wonderful penmanship. And so I'm gonna try to like work on having like different styles because I want different styles. I think it looks pretty, it makes, it easy to like read certain things. So that's my goal is to start like working on my penmanship and try different font styles. Um, and of course, if you feel like you're bad at it, you can always print like what you want. You can use Word, type it out, and then just like paste it into your planner. And that's pretty much it for my January monthly spread. Um, you know, I feel like I've done better monthly spreads, but it was a nice start for sure. And the stickers are so adorable. 
And I do love the stamping. I just need to learn about ink a little bit more because it just didn't turn out well for me. So I don't actually have my standard themes, the ones that you're used to seeing from me that I've made before. I don't have those planned out yet. So obviously what you're gonna see today is just me using like my craft supplies. And I knew I wanted to use this little theme because I've hauled like stickers and scrapbook paper and washi for it. And so I thought it'd be really cute to do like a little girly theme. Um, so that's what we're gonna do for this spread. And I do like all the pinks in it and I use like different washi. So it was really, really fun. And I did a planner haul. So you guys will see all of the stuff if you wanna go check it out. So what I'm going to do now is use my Avery sticker labels and I keep these on hand because they're a great way to like give yourself a blank canvas and that's what I'm going to do. I don't like the sidebar, I don't like the blue January like tab at the top and I don't like the flower at the bottom so I just want to get rid of it and give it like a blank canvas so I'm doing that with the Avery label and it's perfect because it has a sticker backing and now I'm going to add this cute little like camera. Um, picture to my planner as well. I thought it was super adorable. Now, I do have lots of plans for improving my planner videos, and one of the things I wanted to do was show to you guys some of the spreads that you guys have emailed to me on spreads that you did that were inspired by mine. So I will attach those here for you to see. They're so beautiful. Wonder Woman is such a favorite of mine, and I think that she did an amazing job. So please send me your pictures of your planner spreads um, to cheapcraftygirl at yahoo.com so that I can feature them in my video. I also want to tell you guys that one of my favorite parts of planning because I do enjoy sitting down and just you know looking at all my cute stuff and picking out washi is watching like a movie or TV or whatever and this entire time I was watching Frasier which is one of my favorite TV shows and it was the episode where Niles gets married to you know who I'm not going to talk about it just in case you like want to get into Frasier but I was so excited and it's one of my favorite parts so I'm going to get into like doing different like angles for you guys so that you can actually see me in the video not just my hands but 
this is just a video. I wanted to get it up. It was important for me to just kind of get some spreads done and get it under the books. But don't you worry, my themes are coming back and I'm going to keep going with stamping. I'm going to try different like handwriting scriptures and things like that. And I also actually ordered a bunch of markers from Amazon. So I'll probably do an Amazon haul for you guys. I can't wait to start using those for my planner as well. But for now, this is it for this planner video. I hope that you guys love it. Again, I'm sorry about the quality, but I'm coming at you with some better videos and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Bye.